Right, I'm going to show you how to colour mix now. And this is obviously using the Aqua Tints Essentials Collection. You can colour mix your colours, obviously any colour, with colour to colour. You know, if you wanted to put blue and green, uh, blue and yellow, and make a different colour green to what you've got in your um, collections, you can do. There's no right or wrong rules with that at all. But what I wanted to sh do today was to show you what you can do with the Essentials to Collection on top of a normal plain set if you have them. So I've just taken one colour because I didn't want to confuse things too much. So, and the colour I'm using is number six, and that is from the Bright and Beautiful's collection. So it's this one here. So I've just picked the one colour, but you can do this with any colour, and you can colour mix your colours together as well. So take the essentials set out. As I said before, in the essential set, you have um, two white and two black okay because they're the ones you're probably going to use the most of all right and then you've got your gold and your silver and as you can see there's a lot of mica in these so these are the ones you are going to shake up so I'm going to give them a little shake now before we start just to get them going okay but I just wanted to show what you could do just with the white and the black as well so I've got my colour here and then I've got some white and black and I might mix this up on just a block just to show you just try to think of getting it all in camera shot so in fact let's take the colours out of here and use the tray for here at the moment might be the easiest thing to do okay so let's pop that one in there right so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to mix with a little bit of white now the thing you can do is with your pipettes they are marked up as half mil right up to three mil so you can say right I take half a mil of the color and half a mil of white so you can do a balance however the white and the black are slightly thicker so it's not quite as easy to do okay so I, I would say that but what I'm going to do first of all is we'll try and get in fact let's just do a little blob I don't want to use too much and waste it so let's just show you what you can do with the colours as we use them so let's get a thinner brush okay so this is the neat color itself so let's paint that on so that is showing you that's number what number did i say it was number six and this is showing you number six in its raw state straight from the jar okay so that's number six but obviously number six now can be made into lots of other colors by adding black and white so wash your brush right the way off we need to get it nice and clean if we're going to go into white as I said you can't really put the pipette into white it doesn't really work so I'm just going to take a bit of white and now mix that just mixing that in that palette okay You'll see as soon as you mix with the white and with the black, the aqua tint takes a different consistency as well. Because it's like adding acrylic paint. So now you can see that it is a little bit lighter. Okay, and then I'll wash that off and we'll add a little bit more white. take a little bit more white and mix that in with that so by adding a little bit more white we're now making it a little bit paler again and I'll wash 
finish that off. Just making sure my, even though my water's not particularly clean, it does still bring them clean. And I'm going to take some more white, mix it around again. So this is where you can play with all your colours. So your colours in your sets aren't just the colours that you've got. By buying the essential set, you can make lots of different colours. So as you can see, each time we're going along, we're going a little bit lighter. We'll do this a couple of more times, just because I want you to see, by adding just the tiniest amount, does make a big difference. So mix that round. You'll see the white has got a different consistency, totally. That's a lot lighter now. So we go again not in a very straight line here but as you can see can you see now now it's really coming light and the consistency of that has really changed from the beginning so we'll wash that off I we'll do one more even paler again so just by buying the essential set with your white and your black and your, your um, mica gold and silver, you can give a totally different effect. So that's by adding the white. So let's put the lid on the white. Let's do the same now with the black. So you can see the difference with the black. So let's bring a black in. not going to put as much in this time I think we put a little bit too much in let's try that so wash that brush off so we we'll put the original down to start with okay wash that away and then take some black I've used probably about the same as I did with the white to start with but you're going to see the black is going to change it a lot quicker it's more or less just come through black might have needed a bit more colour the black is a lot stronger Let's wash that off and add a bit more colour to this. Mix that round. Oh, now we've got like a midnight blue. So you can see the consistency by adding just that bit of black. Now if I wanted to go just added a tiny little spot again let's see what difference that makes well that's bluer again so it just shows you the difference with adding black and adding the white that you can change those colors entirely and I think if we kept to add in it would go even lighter so that's the black and the white obviously the white has got more um, you can see what's going on more with the white than the black but now let's have a look at the micas. So let's get uh, this brush cleaned off. Get rid of all that black. And let's have a clean bit of tissue. You will go through a lot of paper towel. I would recommend just buy some really cheap ones from the supermarket. Right. I'm going to turn my pan it around now and I'm going to put a blob in there I'm going to put the same blob in there now the first one we're going to add silver so we'll give it a shake and I'm putting that amount of silver which is probably a bit too much actually let's wipe some off it 
pales it right down that you get this lovely luster. Can you see the mica luster in it? It's absolutely beautiful. So this is now going to change your flat colours in your collection into luster colours which is beautiful. Now you can mix it like this and put it one of those mini mini misters and you get another totally different look. So that is beautiful. Now let's rinse that off and let's now add some gold. Let's put the lid on this one. So that's with adding the silver. It will be better once it's um, dried and I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what it's doing. But I just wanted to show you what your essential set will do. It will enhance even if you only buy one box of these it will totally enhance the colours that you've already got. So let's take some gold and add some gold in. As you can see the colour is totally different by adding the gold. We'll apply it to the paper and see what happens. It is, it's darker. So the silver lightens it up and the gold doesn't. The gold seems to brighten it. But you can still see that luster coming through, which is beautiful. So that's just showing you by adding the gold and the silver paint to a normal colour the totally different look you're going to get. So let's add a bit more onto that. Let's pop the lid on there before I knock that flying. And then I'll hold it up to the light to show you. So I'm hoping in the light you can see it. But that's with the silver and that's with the gold. And as you can see by adding a, the white little bit at a time you can make your colours paler and obviously by adding black you can actually change the colour that's more like a midnight blue to that that I put a bit too much black in but it just shows you the difference so this is showing you by using your essential set you can totally change the look of each of your paints so that's how the essential set works I hope that's helped.